And welcome to our meteorology segment, which is becoming a regular feature here at the Smash News Network, least busted name and news, starting things out looking at the NASA GOES lightning mapper. And we see lightning here around the northern Gulf Coast, off the east coast of the U.S., and in places like Mississippi and Tennessee. Let's check our real-time lightning map. After this plays through one more time on the NASA GOES lightning mapper loop, that's about the last five hours. And here's a real-time lightning map. Let's see what we've got. We've got terrestrial lightning here. Southwest of Houston and south of Houston and east of Houston. Houston, you're nearly surrounded by lightning. And indeed, there is thunder rolling in. I like to use lightningmaps.org when I hear thunder. And we'll zoom back out to the global scale here. And lightning gives us great insight into the most intense storms. Some very intense storms here north of the Caspian Sea. And continuing on here to windy.com, we're going to zoom out and look at a pressure map. Lots of low pressure here over around India. Check it out. Sudden low pressure strike kicking up there. Uh, Central and Southeast Asia, most of Asia here, really, under low pressure. And the entire South Polar region also in low pressure. Check it out. Very low pressure here. Also a powerful anticyclone here over the Northern Pacific. And the Southern Pacific. So some huge pressure gradients happening here. Let's advance this into tomorrow. This is the GFS forecast. I'm sorry, that's the Euro forecast for pressure at... 1300 1 p.m. universal time tomorrow. Here's some additional data. It's the jet stream scenario for the Western world. Extreme meridional jet stream flow still here in the Northern Hemisphere. And before we continue on, let me just check the life of the stream. Everything looks just fine to me. Southern Hemisphere jet stream a little bit more coherent. Let's take a look at surface winds. There you go. There are the surface winds of the eastern, the eastern portion of planet Earth. Did I say eastern? I meant western. Here's the eastern portion of planet Earth. Strong cyclonic system here south of Japan. Reaching nearly hurricane force winds there far west in the Pacific Ocean. Here are the jet streams of the eastern world continuing to, to blow backwards here over places like Papua, New Guinea, Indonesia, etc. And very incoherent jet stream flow in the northern hemisphere once again. Here's your weather.gov map and we've got some fog advisories where I am and some excessive heat advisories and red flag warnings in the northern Rockies. We're also going to see some anomalous temperatures across the east. So this is uh, 12 noon. This is 8 a.m. Eastern time. And we're just advancing this. There's Thursday at 8 a.m. There's Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And we'll just leave that there. So most of the central and eastern portion of the country are going to see anomalously cold, and most of the north, northern Rockies area, excessively hot, anomalously hot temperatures. And some wild swings happening in some places, too. Check out these cold temperatures coming here, forecasted for Saturday. 16 degrees below normal in most of Arizona and about half of New Mexico. Next, I'd like to thank our patrons, the true source of funding for the content for these videos. Patreon.com slash smash a match if you'd like to help us out. We do provide all kinds of perks for our patrons as well. And if you're viewing the videos on BitChute, please consider becoming a patron. And please consider viewing the videos on YouTube, as most of our content is on YouTube. Next, looking at the U.S. Doppler radar here. We've got some rains over... Montana, Nevada, Utah, a little bit in Arizona, North Dakota, Louisiana, Eastern Texas, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, getting some rain. 
and the heaviest rains here are around Houston. Houston, you're going to be mostly missed by this stuff, but you may get a great light show. Go out and look to your east and south. You may see some interesting phenomenon going on above the cloud tops. So let's zoom this out before we show the cloud layer. There's the cloud layer. And there is a high pressure system over this entire area right here, and it's causing a jet stream to turn to the east. It's causing a flow to also turn to the east from the south. So that's going to be your demarcation line, and you'll see it on the water vapor. It'll be real obvious. And there's the water vapor map. Pardon my refresh. And this huge blob of dry air is a much higher pressure compared to the surrounding areas. And that's why this air is deflecting off it and going east and why the jet stream is being diverted to the east as well. It's because that dry mass of air is acting like a blocker. And here's your recap. Once again, the US Doppler radar. I'll just leave it that size, I guess. Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. Is that better? I think that's better. Here's a cloud layer, water vapor, and one last time, US Doppler radar. And there's the cloud layer. And there's the water vapor. And that's today's meteorology segment. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. smash mash And I'm signing off from the Smash News Network, Least Busted. Name and news.